Yeah, man, you know, um, like I've said before, man, I, I'm so grateful and, and, and so blessed that, um, like, I, I can't give myself the credit, nor can anybody else take it. The man above God himself has, has blessed me and, and so much strength and, and belief in him um, allows me to go out and, and do the things that I know I'm able to do with this game um, and with this platform and the way that I know I can play the game. Um, I just try to prepare myself mentally each and every night um, to be ready to compete regardless of what position or what things are thrown at me. Um, I know uh, with the faith and the belief that um, I can do anything, um, I never worry, never waver, try to stay consistent in, in my craft and and find a ways to better impact one. When you hear the na name Detlef Schrempf, anything come to mind from, from his career? Um, anything come to mind? No, other than he played for the Sonics. Uh, that's about it. <laughs> Russ. I don't, I don't have nothing. <laughs> we'll do some YouTube search after. Uh, Russ. Uh, Maybe. I'm not on YouTube, but I'll try. <laughs> uh, you've talked before about how much you, you want to see your teammates succeed. 17 threes tonight, a lot of them on the end of your assists. Um, you know, how, how good did it feel for this team, do you think, in the locker room to see kind of see the floodgates open with the three-point shooting? Um, it's great, man. Um, like I've said before, I, I embrace and enjoy seeing guys <laughs> Um, put the work in and seeing it come to life. When you see guys working, um, shooting, working on their game, and then having an opportunity to better see it come to life in, in the game is is amazing. It's contagious, as you can see tonight, and um, it was good to see that. You know, for a lot of those guys. Russell, no, knowing that this was coming off the bench was a big adjustment for you in terms of routine. I mean, it hadn't been something you had done since your first month or so in the NBA. 30 game, 30. I think tonight is your 31st game doing it. Um, yeah. Have you have you adjusted fully to this yet? Is this like to this part to this role? Does it feel comfortable? Um, I'm a hooper. Um, I can do anything, anytime, anywhere. Um, whatever is asking me, that's what I'll do, and I'll continue doing that until further notice. When. We what when we see you guys kind of line up against the the starting five uh, and that that Orlando put out there. I mean, seven foot two, six foot ten, six foot nine, like pretty much across the board. How did you guys combat that size as a group tonight? And and what did you see from kind of the force that you guys played with against them? Um, I think speed. We did a good job of rebounding um, and getting out on the break, um, using our speed, athleticism. Even though they're big, um, we were able to attack them a little more. Um, and get in the paint and, and make plays for others. So I think it was beneficial for us. Last two questions. Ross, how do you compare the game against of Dallas? I, I think you guys started really, really well, but yeah. they didn't finish strong enough. And then this team, Orlando, has won eight games out of the ten. Uh, mm -hmm. What was the difference between those two games and what can you tell us about? Um, I think the third quarter. Um, third quarter was big. We kind of weathered the storm. They made a run, but we weathered the storm, played the right way. Um, and I think that was the difference tonight. Last question. Russ, Jeremy Renner with the Magic Insider. You know, Paolo didn't play very well tonight, but uh, he's done incredible things so far during his career. What was – have you, did you get a chance to talk to him for a little bit, see if he's uh, – you know, what do you think of his game so far? I didn't, I didn't get a chance to talk to him um, at all, but I know um, just from seeing some of the things he's done, uh, he would be a hell of a player in years to come, but I didn't get a chance to talk to him. Thanks, Russ. Yeah.